Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I got word the other day from my friend from Couchville.com. He also uh, is the CEO, I believe, for a product known as Beyond TV, which is a DVR that runs on Windows. And they just announced support uh, for uh, the automatic export from their program that runs on Windows as a DVR. Uh, digital video recorder thing that will record your TV shows and will also stream your TV shows on, onto or over the web that their program beyond TV uh, it will now export automatically to the iPhone uh, which I and the, and the iPod the, the profile is seamless so you can go from a TV recording on your PC directly to MP4 ready for like your iPhone or your iPod which is very cool to see that happening in a product that isn't necessarily uh, Apple's product or something that's only available for Apple. So Beyond TV still gets a thumbs up from me. Uh, now I bring this up largely because Mool, who's a community member, uh, at, uh, is quite frequently in our chat room. In fact, I think he's here right now. Yes, Mool212, an earlier winner of one of our webcams. Uh, do you know of a way to convert a Windows recorded TV show done in the Windows Media Center to a WMV or AVI or any other type of different file format? And second, if you can convert it, do you know of a program where you could edit the file to, say, remove commercials and burn it to a DVD disc? Any help is appreciated. Well, you're most likely talking about the format with Windows Media Center when it records shows. It's typically in the DVR MS format, which is so incredibly bloated and so incredibly difficult to work with in any capacity. It's one of the reasons why I've shied away from recommending recording shows in the Windows Media Center, unless, of course, your whole life revolves around everything that involves Microsoft. Uh, chances are you're going to want to get that format uh, file into a different format, as is the case, the MPEG-2 format, most likely. So the uh, suggestion for you, and the reason why I say MPEG-2, cutting right to the chase, because that's for the video format you'd put onto DVDs. Uh, I'm going to recommend one site, thegreenbutton.com. It is a fantastic community resource for all things related to the Windows Media Center. Been around for many, many years. And they've got a program called DVRMS to MPEG Conversion Utility. Ah, uh, it's got a GUI. Uh, and you just run right through it and it will convert the files for you. So you can go from the Windows Media Center television default video file format to a format that can be ready or that is ready to be edited in your favorite DVD uh, builder. Uh, my recommendation for uh, p taking video files, different formats, and con assembling them into a DVD happens to be Nero. And I believe they've just released version 8.0. If not, I know they just updated that version. Uh, so Nero happens to be my choice, and I'm not just saying that with full disclosure. I am also a Nero MVP, which means I kind of stay up to date with what happens with Nero and uh, have a chance to influence product direction as well. So if you're a Nero fan and you want feedback to go directly into Nero, give me your feedback and I can get it onto the Nero team, no problem whatsoever. Here you thought you would just be learning fun things. No, I'm actually a, a conduit, hopefully, for you and a lot of the things uh, the problems that you might be having with companies uh, and their products, we may be able to make some connections for you. So this is the suggestion I found for converting those files. Uh, now, SC Thor, I know that you have worked with video and audio codecs for a while. What would you recommend? Uh, well, I'm not sure exactly what codec the DVRMS uses internally, but uh, FFmpeg, which is an open source product, can read pretty much every audio format that there is, or and video format and uh, be able to convert that to your AVI with XVID or to MPEG-4 or whatever format you might want to try to put it in. And then once you have it with that, you can put it into your NeuroVision and make a DVD. Now, Wireless Packet, have you done much work with this kind of stuff, or is it all kind of ancillary for you? Um, well, most of the stuff I've done was in like iMovie on the Mac, but I was looking really quick on the web, and I found a site called all-streaming-media.com and they have a lot of information on their site about uh, converting videos from uh, Windows Media Center into different formats like XVID, AVI, uh, DivX, H.264, stuff like that and I'll post that in channel. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I uh, it looks like Mool had just commented in the chat saying that FFmpeg doesn't work.
which I wouldn't be surprised at, about. Uh, well, I think the problem there is uh, the DVRMS uses uh, a type of DRM to mm -hmm. try to, because they don't want you to take the shows you recorded off TV and burn them to a disc. Sure. Which, of course, the uh, greenbutton.com has a, an absolute suggestion for, or a solution for. I think if you just search for DVR-MS2TO, uh, MPG, you'll be able to pop up the utility. And, of course, I'll also yeah. leave a link for it in the, uh, into, in the, uh, the chat. Or, I'm sorry, in the actual uh, write-up as well. Uh, we'll, we'll. We'll make sure the link is, is directly right in there. Uh, looks yeah, like and it's another good site for uh, anything related to video encoding and such is uh, doom9.org. Oh, of course. You, you realize that uh, people who work at Microsoft, pretty much I mean, specifically in uh, the Windows Media Division, live on Doom 9? Yes. I mean, it's just... It's, it's, it's where all the interesting stuff in video happens. Yeah, it's, it's hardcore there. It is hardcore. You know, the development of the XVID codec, they, it's where they developed the whole key-cracking thing for the HDVD and Blu-ray. and It's where they figure out how everything works with video. So there's a few suggestions for uh, everybody out there. And if you have any other different solutions, uh, maybe something else that happens to handle DVR-MS, uh, relatively simple. Uh, of course, most likely only on the Windows platform, but maybe it's for another platform as well. Or if you have a favorite site that you go to for video encoding help, um, you know, by all means, make some suggestions. Leave a comment and thread a follow-up. You're also free to email me, chris at perillo.com. Uh, and if the, the question is broad enough or it can be answered, then certainly I will do my best to address it uh, on video recording and then upload it. At, and hopefully the videos that we do work just about anywhere. And if not, dang it, we will make them work anywhere because it's not necessarily where they work. It's that they just do work in the first place. Uh, and then, of course, you're also welcome to join us anytime, day or night, in our chat room streaming live. Uh, usually, sometimes I'm asleep. Uh, uh, so that's not as live, but when I'm asleep, other people are live at uh, one little website on the web. The only place you need to go to, it's live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.